How y'all doing? Changed the camera angle on you today. Oh, uh, I want to tell a story today about. Oh, I got my microphone on. I want to talk so loud. But uh, changed the story a little bit today, or the angle and everything. But I'm going to talk about my very first, my very first concert I ever went to. Uh, my first concert was going to be. Now it's you know, man, I can't believe, and I hadn't, I, I still hadn't seen either one of these bands live. Never seen either one of them live. But in, I don't know if any y'all remember or not. But in February, the first of February of 1985. If that sounds familiar to any of y'all, it is the year that we had that 10 inches of sleet in Etiwamba County. And that's when all the, actually it happened like the second or third because I think the concert was supposed to be on, it was either the third or the fourth of February. And I wasn't able to go because I wasn't going to try to drive up there in that in sleep. But I had done bought I had already bought a ticket for Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden. And the opening act was Twisted Frickin' Sister. And I has of yet never seen either one of those bands live. I've never seen them. I, I'd like to see them live, but of course I won't be able to see Twisted Sister in its original form because the drummer's passed away now. But anyway, man, that was such, man, that was so depressing. That would have been my first concert. But a year later, on May the 4th, 1986, Mid-South Coliseum, Memphis, Tennessee, my very first concert ever and I mentioned it in my last blog Ozzy Osbourne the ultimate sin tour with you guessed it Jakey e. Lee Jakey e. Lee on guitar uh, I want to tell you something I've seen Jakey e. Lee on some stuff um, uh, what's the name of his band now something dragon or dragon something anyway you know I've seen him play some now but well, I'm going to tell y'all something Go back and watch some of the live footage when he was playing with Ozzy. This guy would would run across there and would roll. He would roll across the floor while he's playing his guitar and hop back up. I mean, he was ridiculous. Uh, I mean, he was very impressive live. Jakey e. Lee then in 1986 was very impressive. And I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest with my review of the whole show. But the opening act for Ozzy was Metallica. <laughs> the Master of Puppets tour. The tour that Cliff Burton got killed on. So I got to see Cliff Burton playing with Metallica before he got killed. As a matter of fact, I think it was that same year that he got killed. Don't hold me to that. I don't know. Don't try to proof check me on that. But anyway, so a friend of mine I was working with at the time there at Crestline. I was working at Crestline at Fulton then. I had a little uh, Toyota Corolla station wagon, like an 80 model. And Jeff Reynolds, uh, God rest his soul, uh, we called him Boo Boo. Boo Boo Reynolds. Uh Jeff later on in years uh, well it was a long time later several years ago Jeff, his wife, his little boy and his mother-in-law all four were killed uh, they were hit by another car that ran through a stop sign and I, I, that, was, that was a depressing time then but anyway Jeff went with me to see Ozzy and he knew how to get to the Coliseum and everything so he was indispensable on this trip and you just had to know Jeff, I mean Boo Boo, you just had to know him because he's just this big old dude, you know, big old country boy. <laughs> so was I. 
But anyway, here we go. I didn't know anything about Metallica uh, except for I'd seen them on Headbangers Ball. And I, all me and a friend of mine, Ricky Johnson, I worked with at Crestline as well, we would always get tickled and laugh about them because when they were headbanged, it would just be a solid stream of hair up and down, up and down. So we go and see, I see Metallica and I'm, you know, I mean, look, they're good. They're good. They're really good. But I'm, I wouldn't end to them at that time. I, I wouldn't. I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't end to them at that time. And uh, I didn't really get into Metallica till the till the uh, Black album came out. But anyway, uh, they were good. And I was, I was so proud that I got to see them on that tour before Cliff Burton got killed. But anyway, uh, Ozzy comes out. And now remember, I've never been to any kind of concert before. Nothing. No concerts at all. And my first concert, I go in and sit down and see Metallica open. And then Ozzy Osbourne, the Ultimate Sin Tour. And he was great. I'm talking about he was good. I was like, dang, man. It blew me away. I mean, it really blew me away. Uh, of course, you know, Ozzy then, he would, he would glam his hair up. And he would wear these, he wore this long black robe with gold striping on it and everything, you know. Had his hair all poofed up and glammed up. But man, he was good. Gosh, he was good. He was so good live. That, that's one thing you can't say about Ozzy. You can't say he wasn't a showman or is a showman. You can't say that because he was really good. Um, and, you know, I don't remember at that time. At that time, I'm not sure who was playing bass. It may have been Geezer Butler. Uh, I'm not really sure who was playing bass for him at the time. Uh, I think it was possibly Geezer Butler. And then Randy Castile was playing drums, who, you know, passed away, you know, later on in years. And he was real good, done a great drum solo and everything. But, you know, you, you don't, you just have to realize and see my very first concert was an Ozzy Osbourne concert with Metallica opening, you know. Now, I've seen Metallica uh, a few times. Since then, I've, I've seen them a few times and headlining, uh, and I've seen Ozzy one more. I saw him once more at the Pyramid at Memphis. Uh, I'm going to talk more about some of the shows we saw at the Pyramid as well. Uh, but it, it was a it was a good concert to be my first concert, especially. It was hard for well. I mean, let me let me put this in perspective for you as well. I absolutely have no idea who the second concert was. <laughs> I, I mean, seriously, the Ozzy blew me away so much when I saw him that I have no idea who my second, who the second band I saw was. You know, the the second concert. I, I mean, I literally have. Now I've got. I still have. Truthfully, I still have my ticket stub. From that concert, May the fourth, nineteen eighty-six, and whoever else, whoever else, I know there's some of them went to that concert. I know maybe Barry Gray or, or some of them, some of the people that I know, maybe Jeff Spencer, some of those people that I know. I know y'all, y'all were probably at that concert. Um, it, it was it was a really good concert. I'm gonna tell you what, it was way better then than when I saw Ozzy at the Pyramid several years later with Alice in Chains opening for him. Uh, I'll talk about that concert another time, but he was way better on the Ultimate Sin Tour than he was that one. Not saying he was bad. I'm just saying that Ultimate Sin one, man, it was good. It was really good. Uh, I don't know of any other of my friends at that time that went to that concert, but now, I didn't really have a lot of friends at that time, you know, as far as that really liked that kind of music or anything that would have went to the concert. And I'm going to tell you what, it was killer, <laughs> uh, especially to be my very first concert. And I hadn't quit going to concerts since. It, it it lit a fire in me about going to concerts. Next thing you know, man, I start going. But 
remember it was like tickets were like eight or 13 bucks or you know there was something like that i mean they weren't expensive at all then you know i mean you could afford to go but they didn't make that much then either i gotta remember that too but trust me that concert was great and if you can go over and watch it on youtube and i think you can you can find that that year range and get a good see a good quality one it's worth going to see just see jakey e. lee play for ozzy i mean to me now this is me i'm just being honest to me he's nothing now like he was when he played for ozzy you know he played on the bark at the moon album and the ultimate sin album and i'm talking about he was just i mean he was such a showman that rolling across the floor with his guitar and everything while he was doing solos and stuff was just ridiculous, man. It blew me away. And I mean, he he done so much stuff and he was so active on stage. Uh, if you get a chance, go over and check it out. This has been the Steering Wheel Commentator.